はい Okay, so I've tidied up the place a little bit because I'm going to be living here for I don't know how long. That's because my wife kicked me out of our place and now I'm staying here. And the reason why she kicked me out wasn't because of the you know what that's behind me. Actually, she was um, she was laughing about it. This is why women don't make any sense because when I first got it, she was really angry and upset about it and we had this big row, and then the next day she was completely okay with it and she was laughing and joking about it, telling her friends about it as if it was some kind of big joke. I think that's mainly because some of her friends said that the you know what's face kind of looks like her, and then she was really happy about that. So everything was fine between us, and then the next day, some weirdo started sending her pictures. Pictures of private conversations I was having with someone else. I don't really want to talk about what these private conversations were about because, well, let's just say it's pretty bad and it's not something you'd want your wife to see. So this is one of the pictures he sent to my wife. It's a picture of a conversation I was having with someone else on Discord and I've blanked out the conversation and her name, her profile picture because it is a private conversation. It's really strange because it looks like a reflection in a screen. It's not a screenshot, it looks like he's just taken a picture of his computer screen and you can see these reflections in the background. I don't know what this is, there's like a, a black square shape here and then there's like a white shape here. I'm thinking this might be his phone or maybe this could be his phone. I've just been thinking about how, how the hell did this person take this photo? It doesn't make any sense. If I've been hacked then I would know because I would get an email saying that someone logged in from a different location and I definitely haven't been hacked because I have a very complex password and I have two-factor authentication turned on so there's no way I've been hacked. And the person I was talking to also said she hasn't been hacked because she would also know if someone logged in from a different location and if we had been hacked why didn't this person just take a screenshot of our conversation instead of taking a photo of a screen. It looks like he's taken a photo of his computer screen, that's why there's a reflection. And I've got other photos as well that the same person sent, and as you can see, this bit, you see this little bit here? This bit matches with this bit. I have no idea what this is, but I'm guessing it's his phone, this square-shaped thing. I think this is his shoulder. I don't know why this is in black and white. For some reason he sent one picture in colour and then four pictures in black and white to my wife. And this one's the creepiest one, because if you look closely, look at this. What is that? I can't zoom in. Look, if I zoom in, doesn't it look like someone's forehead? It looks like the top of his forehead, and this is his hair. So he has very short hair, and you can see the light shining off his forehead. So it must be a guy. I kept thinking to myself, did I accidentally leave my laptop unlocked and then had a shower and then my wife was looking at my laptop and then she took the photo? No, there's no way that could have happened because look at the background in this reflection. That does not match our apartment and this does not look like my wife's head. My wife doesn't have such short hair. This is also a pretty strange photo. I'm, I'm thinking this bit is his phone, but I don't know what this black shape is here and you can definitely tell this is a photo of a screen because if you look here there's like a a smudge or something on top of the text why would there be a smudge on top of the text if it was a screenshot so i'm pretty sure it's not a screenshot so that means he's taken a photo of either my screen which is impossible because like I said before, none of these reflections match any of the rooms that my screens are in. So the only other option is it's the screen of the person I was talking to. 
So either the person that I was talking to betrayed me and took these photos herself and then leaked them herself, but I just really don't think she would do something like that. I feel like I can trust her and I'd be very surprised if she did betray me. So the other option would be that someone she lives with betrayed her or maybe one of her friends had access to her computer when she was away from it and then took a photo and then sent it to my wife. I don't know, none of these theories make any sense. It's just a very strange situation and I'm just so frustrated that it happened and I just don't understand how it happened. This has been something I've been worrying about since two years ago when my wife first found my YouTube channel. I didn't want her to have a direct line of communication between the people who hate me because they end up sending her weird stuff like these photos and then I get into trouble. I tried really hard to keep her identity a secret, that's why I never said her name, I always called her my wife and I tried to hide her face at the beginning. And that was because I didn't want people to find her social media and then start talking to her privately behind my back. But then she started letting people know her social media, like her Instagram, and then she started coming onto my Discord and she was messaging people, trying to get information about me. <laughs> my wife is very happy to be in contact with these people who hate me because they're very dedicated and somehow they find out about nearly everything that I'm up to and my DMs get leaked. Things I say that I don't want my wife to hear end up finding her way, finding their way to her. And I just get all of this hassle and headache because she's in direct contact with these people. Things would be so much easier if she didn't speak English and she wasn't interested in social media or trying to spy on me. I said to her, I don't think I can be in a relationship with someone who's constantly spying on me and constantly talking to people who hate me. It's just so irritating. Ever since she found my YouTube channel, we've had so many arguments and so many problems. Before she found out my YouTube channel, we didn't have any problems. We didn't argue about anything. There were absolutely no problems. Well, that is the current situation. I'll be here for, I don't know how long, depends how long it takes for her to cool down. She was pretty angry about it. And I don't blame her, I'd be angry as well if the same thing happened to me. If you think about it, the same thing did kind of happen to me with the, you know, the Australian guy. And I forgave her for the Australian guy thing, so she should forgive me as well. We can call it even. So it seems as though getting my own place wasn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> Do you think there's a secret camera somewhere in here? I've heard stories where people found secret cameras in the Airbnbs they were staying at. Where could there be a secret camera? <laughs>